Welcome to the video on cardinal positions of gaze. In this video, we'll discuss the terminology we use to describe each specific ocular position that we use to assess eye movements or the extraocular muscles. So here we see a series of uh, photographic images which assess each of the positions of gaze. And what we see here is three positions of gaze here, three positions of gaze here, and three positions of gaze here. So in total, we have nine positions of gaze where we assess a patient. This is termed cardinal positions of gaze. It's also interchangeable with nine positions of gaze. So you can call it either cardinal positions of gaze or nine positions of gaze. Now, the reasons we assess the patient in each of these positions is that we gain information about the extraocular muscles in these positions or the pattern as it relates to an ocular deviation, so an eye turn. So we can learn about in specific positions of gaze whether an extraocular muscle is acting normally or whether perhaps it's underacting or overacting. We can also learn about whether there's a change in the pattern of the deviation. So if I've got an eye turning in, does it increase in size in a specific position or decrease in size in another specific position? So these uh, positions of gaze give us important information about extraocular muscles and the deviation, and they help us to make a diagnosis or to um, assist us in the differential diagnosis. Now, we'll understand that a bit more later in other subjects. At this point, this video simply aims to teach you the terminology that relates to each of the position of gaze that are important in our ocular assessments. So, coming back to the uh, photographic images, we see here that the patient is looking straight ahead. This is known as the primary position. Where we have the patient looking up, we're assessing the patient in elevation. And where we have the patient looking down, we have or we're assessing depression. Over here, we have the patient looking into right gaze. This is called dextroversion. When the patient looks right and up, we have dextro elevation. And right and down, we have dextro depression. So what you'll see is that the prefix used in all these three positions in right gaze is dextro. Dextroversion, dextro elevation, dextro depression. On the other hand, when we move over to the left, we have the prefix lavo. So this is lavo version, lavo elevation here, lavo depression here. More broadly, we can also categorise uh, the cardinal positions into primary, secondary or tertiary positions. So the primary position we know is the straight ahead position. A secondary position is any vertical or horizontal movement from the primary position. So that includes elevation, depression, dextroversion and lavoversion. So these four positions here are secondary ocular positions. Tertiary positions are where we have a combination of vertical and horizontal. So if I take this corner here, in order for me to look up into labor elevation, I need to make a horizontal movement and then a vertical movement, or it's a combination of two. Of course, you can look straight into that corner. You don't have to go um, left and then up. But in order to get into that position, there's a combination of vertical and horizontal action occurring. So the corner positions, each corner position is a tertiary position. So labo depression, labor elevation, dextro elevation and dextro depression are considered tertiary positions. Okay, that brings me to the conclusion of this video. Thank you for watching.